Hawaii's lack of laws for regular inspections of railings on high-rise balconies has lawmakers and community leaders calling for change. This after a hotel railing fell from the fifth floor of the Moana Surfrider on Tuesday. Bryce Moore follows up. For guests staying in the Moana Surfrider's tower wing, finding out there's no law for regular railing inspections was a bit of a wake-up call. Well, now I'm sure they will. It's kind of a fluky thing, but right. they will have to... I think it's going to be a ricochet for all hotels. The Planning and Permitting Department tells me they authorized emergency repair work at the Surfrider on Wednesday, which allows the hotel to immediately address safety issues without a building permit. But the DPP was only called to inspect due to the unsafe conditions and says regular inspections are the responsibility of the property owner. The Waikiki Neighborhood Board says after Alamoana Center's deadly railing incident in 2016 and now this... Perhaps it's time to make regular inspections law. Who's to say another one couldn't fall tomorrow? Because inspections are a lot cheaper than repairing something like this. So it's a good investment on the part. Uh, it's health and safety matters. It's people's lives we're dealing with. So this needs to be codified in a revised building code, if that's what it takes. Waikiki's representative tells me the deadline to submit bills on the state level has passed, but the county is working on a building inspection law. We'll see what kind of um, ordinance they draft up and hopefully we can draft a state one to mirror that so that we can implement it statewide. Nothing is stopping our current condominium associations or hotels from doing these inspections on their own. I'm not picking on any one property owner of a high rise in Lake Key, but it behooves these owners, especially with Lanai's, to get those inspected and make sure they're visitors are safe because this ultimately it can affect their business. Now we've reached out to the hotel every day since the railing fell on Tuesday. Now they did respond that day saying employee and guest safety was their top priority but they have not responded to repeated inquiries both yesterday and today about emergency inspections that are ongoing. We'll be sure to keep following up and bring you their answers as soon as we get them. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.